Hey YouTube, this is DieFlyFish. Just want to show you, give you the latest um, update on some projects. Um, I built another one of these dual toroid oscillator circuits that's modified from Laser Saber's uh, design. And I've encapsulated it into a little housing like such. So we have a 10 millimeter ultra bright LED on off switch in the potentiometer. So I'm just going to show you, <clears throat> it runs down to about 2.9 microamps. I can get the LED to strike at that and maximally about 1.1 milliamp draw. So if we turn it on, I'll show you the intensity. So there's the intensity with it on low, okay? And we can dial the fella up here. Like so, okay? Sweet. There's a sweet spot. Just can get it just right. It gets pretty darn bright. So in any event, um, but I want to show you something really fascinating. I'm going to put this up maximally, but I'm going to shut it down here now. Now you see it's still on. Now watch. I'm going to click it off once. It's off. And it's still going. Still going. It's still going. We'll see how long it takes for the circuit to shut off. So the built-in capacitance of those two toroids is pretty decent and um, she's still winding down still going now you can see it flicker a little bit but it's still on still flickering still on flickering flickering flick off okay so that's a pretty decent hang time for that circuit after the power has been removed and inside of that I have one of these cells here that I fabricated so that's all encapsulated so this is just a crystal cell oscillator light source and again the crystal cell that I have in here has not been hydrated, nor is this one. I'll give you an update on this one. This is the cell <clears throat> that I showed um, earlier, I told earlier that I put and subjected to minus 190 degrees Fahrenheit on dry ice. And after doing that, um, that's what the milliamp hour is on that cell. So this is about as close as I'll probably ever get to uh, Marcus Reed's cell that's not been hydrated. So this cell was fabricated January 5th. No water has been added since the fabrication of that. It was run five weeks nonstop, 24-7 uh, on an oscillator, after which the milliamp hour was 1.77. So it did recover to 2.21 even after being frozen to minus 190 degrees a couple times. And again, I'm encouraged because that cell has not had any water added to it, and it's still producing uh, 2.19 milliamps. So, um, happy. I would like to see if I can improve it and I'll continue to try to do so. But I'm encouraged that you know I've at least been able to match that art which exists already. So for what it's worth I will provide um, after this you know some pictures of what's going on in here. I just want to give the update that this cell did survive uh, multiple freezing attempts. Now watch this. I'm going to hold this in my hand. You'll see how sensitive it is to thermal input and it should start to increase you can see it go right there. Um, so again, just with a minor addition of warmth, um, the cell does increase current level. Maybe my hand's not warm enough, but in any event, uh, I am encouraged that the cell has continued to perform as well as it has, and we shall go from there. Thanks for watching, and just want to give you the update. Oh yeah, when I stopped this, it was uh, 1.77 milliamps, and now it's over two after just. Um, after being frozen twice or three times. And again, there's no water that's been added to that. Pretty interesting stuff. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll also try to include a picture of the performance of the cell as it was frozen and also showing that the milliamp hour came back despite the fact that the... Um, the external portion of the cell was frozen, but I suppose in the final analysis that is to be expected considering that there are some forms of salts here and whatever residual uh, water that's in the lattice itself probably was buffered by the mere presence of those ions and it took to about 190 degrees, 109 degrees Fahrenheit below zero before the cell stopped producing current. So, But it did bounce back while it was still frozen, which I find fascinating and also encouraging. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.
Still frozen, still climbing. Yeah, I did. 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 Yeah